Hey everyone, hope all of you are doing great. Uh, Stavan here and uh, welcome back to my channel once again. So as you can see in the background, today we are having a Bayer 650. So this video will be about uh, aesthetic, right? As well as the performance changes what uh, Roland Field made between uh, Roland Field Interceptor GT and Bayer 650. So many influencers have uh, addressed those uh, uh, changes, but few are missing. So I thought let me make one video and it may be helpful to you. So without wasting time, let's get it started. So very first thing you can see in the video, it's a very beautiful Bayer 650. RE has done a lots of changes in this motorcycle. So the major change they have made, it is in the engine. Now this engine is producing 8% of more peak torque. And uh, whenever company doing such kind of mode, so they, they are doing it in a proper way. So it's not like that, ke, matlab, uh, power bada do, fueling bada do, right? They have to cater emission also. So I will share you a list of modes, what company has done to increase this 8% of peak torque. So starting with the very first, they have modified throttle body. So here you can see the throttle body is a bit of different as compared to interceptor as well as the GT. Then the second change they have made, it is in the ECU. So earlier interceptor and GT, they do having a boss ECU. And now uh, ECU duty has been taken care by the Continental. So somewhere here, they have introduced a secondary map sensor for the RH, matlab, right hand side cylinder. Then some changes in the camshaft also within the engine itself. Then they have changed the catalytic converter also. Here you can see it is a totally a different catalytic converter. Then some changes in the purge valve as well as the oxygen sensor. So purge valve sits beneath this uh, tank. So they have changed it and they have changed oxygen sensor or lambda sensor also. So here you can see they are different as compared to the interceptor as well as the GT. So they have made change in the ignition coil also. Then one more change here you can see placement of RR unit. So now it has been shifted in the front side because in earlier what uh, was the issue? It was here somewhere in uh, below the frame, right? And there it was not getting a proper cooling or a proper evaporation or thermal efficiency. So there was an issue with the RR unit in earlier version of uh, interceptor as well as the GT. So now they have shifted it in the front. So there won't be any issue of uh, heat or any kind of thermal deficiency so these are the nine changes right they have made in the performance as well as the emission so one point that i would like to highlight whenever a company right or a factory is doing any performance changes then uh, it is not a superficial change they have to do it from engine to emission system so here power increase or uh, torque increase is just eight percent but to justify that 8% increase in torque, they have to revise their emission system, right? They have added MAP sensor, they have added oxygen sensor, they have added uh, purge wall, right? So lot of changes they have made to counter those emission rules because it is not a India specific model only. This model will be ex exported to n number of countries. So company has to follow their uh, emission regulation also. So it is a good thing actually from RE. Then if we talk about frame and chassis, so you can see frame is identical to the interceptor only, but they have made some changes in the neck side. So here you can see the neck is beef up now. It is a better built as compared to interceptor. So it can do the duty of scrambler. Then some changes in the subframe. Here you can see the rear portion is lifted up. It has been scooped up. Then some changes in the swing arm also. So here you can see this is the swing arm and it is uh, slightly longer as compared to the interceptor as well as the GT. Then wheel base, now it is having a 460 mm of wheel base because this is the issue with the whole weight some motorcycle. If you are keeping it low, then there would be a chance of your uh, sump getting damaged due to the object. So they have to raise the GC. Then lifted rear frame. So from here you can see the cow, they have lifted it. So now it is justifying its uh, scrambler look. Now starting with the very first thing, here you can see the handlebar is pretty wide, right? Uh, footpegs are derived from the uh, Himalayan mostly and uh, they are a dual purpose one. Because rider triangle is now little bit committed, but it is not inconvenient at all. 
so i rode it for 2 km only but i love the design and uh, it's not a tire sum so these are the changes they have made in frame as well as chassis now if we talk about suspension and wheels so starting with the front suspension now they are made by sowa here you can see the bp unit and uh, they are the usd means upside down down type then four coil quantity would be different as compared to interceptor and gt it is a 590 and 587 ml then uh, some changes in the brakes also so brakes are now by biber as opposed to the brembo that we we are getting in interceptor as well as gt then uh, changes in the rotor also interceptor and gt are having a floating rotor semi floating precisely and now it is a fixed rotor then some changes in the tire here you can see the tires are made by mrf and they are a dual purpose tire and another change is a very lighter wheel hub here you can see the wheel hubs are hollow and they are very light in nature so unsprung mass will be less and you can get a better steering input from the motorcycle itself then dual sport foot peg that already we cover in the beginning these are the dual sport foot pegs and the most prominent change to complement the interceptor look it is a two in one exhaust system then if we talk about rear suspension so they are also made by sowa so you can see they are a slightly beefier version over the interceptor as well as the gt and the suspension travel also has been gone up so the front suspension travel is increased by 130 mm and uh, the rear suspension travel it is somewhere around 115 mm rear brakes also they are now made by biber over uh, brembo so here you can see uh, revised design of fender then uh, different ecu also it is a euro 5 version here you can see a euro 5 fuse box remains the same and uh, they have made some changes in uh, obd uh, connector so obd socket is slightly different here you can see this frame is also slightly beefier as compared to interceptor then a dual pod instrument cluster has been ditched and giving its way for the himalayan single pod instrument cluster ignition slot position has been revised slightly some changes in the top yoke also here you can see this top yoke might be derived from the super meteor 650 is how instrument cluster looks like calibration mode switch gears are uh, the same that we are getting in uh, classic 350 so let's crank it up so let me make you hear engine sound first so this is how engine sounds it's slightly on uh, muted as compared to interceptor as well as the gt and this is how exhaust sounds so if i talk about exhaust not then it is not on the bezier side but it is a well balanced so in, even in a long rides also it won't trouble your ear so ari has done a fantastic job as far as a tuning exhaust let me rev it little bit Barbaling from the exhaust. Some aesthetic changes in the indicator itself. Here you can see indicators are different. They are all LED now, and the headlight is also different. It is LED unit, and mostly the same unit that we are getting in other Ari models. So bike look. beautiful from the front angle also here you can see 
so this is all about bear 650 if you like the video then uh, share it among your friends and uh, feel free to subscribe to my channel also and uh, hope to see you in the next video till then take care and have a safe ride